Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at screen layouts for Blender. And this is a topic that was vastly confusing for me when I first started using Blender. Uh, I remember seeing all these tutorials and they just kept splitting screens and it just kept getting more and more confusing for me. So um, I just want to advise that if people are doing tutorials, please don't. I mean, try and stick to the default layouts when you can, of course. Um, but so now we're going to talk about doing custom layouts because it is a good thing to use custom layouts. You know, if you have a workflow, if you like to do things a certain way, then it's great to be able to make, you know, customize your layout to make it easier or faster for yourself. Um, so here's a couple things I want to mention to start off with because this stuff can be confusing. In the corner here, we have two kind of symbols. We have this very corner th symbol here, which turns your cursor to a plus sign. And then we have this little plus sign, which gives you this kind of back and forth uh, symbol with your cursor. Now, if you hover over that little plus sign and you click it, you're not adding a new window. This, What you're doing is you're opening the side panel. Okay, which you can also open and close with N on the keyboard. And the same goes for the other side. That's T for the other side. And if you click that little symbol, you'll get that same side panel. But that has nothing to do with layouts. Okay. So the top corner symbol, though, which gives you the little plus sign, that allows you to open a new window. You just click it and slide, and I can do that again. Click it and slide. So now I have all these windows, and they're all the same. And then you could change them by choosing one of these. But you can also close them again by hovering over that in between both of them, that line. Uh, right clicking and then you can choose join and the arrow points in the direction you want to join so if I want to merge this window with this window now this arrow is pointing this way so I click here if I want to join these two and I want to join this one into here now I click here so that's how you open new windows and join them so let's do a new layout. Um, I'm mostly an animator. Let's. So here is my animator window, my custom one that I did. But let's get rid of this. So I'm going to totally get rid of that. This is the default layout, which I kind of don't like. But it's, it's not a bad layout for animation. But uh, I tend not to use it, and I like to use my own. So let's add a new layout here by hitting the plus sign. Okay, and I'll rename it to Animation Med. And I like to keep the old layouts because like here I'm doing a tutorial. So if I'm going to do a tutorial, I'll try to stick to the default layout. But let's go to our custom layout. And uh, one of the things to remember when you're joining Windows is that you can only join two windows uh, which have the same ratio where they meet. So this side, these two windows here have the same ratio on this side. So I can join them together. So let's try that. Let's join. And I can join these two together there. So I just got rid of that one window and I can do the same thing here. And to get to my layout, I have to close everything, basically. So now I can't join these two because they don't have the same ratio. Now we have two windows here. So there's no way, even though it will let me do this, I still get no arrows and I can't really click because now I'm clicking into the scene. So let's put that cursor back. So I have to close only the windows that have the same ratio first. So let's close these two and now the 3d view and the graph editor have the same ratio on that side so I'll close that and now the timeline and the 3d view have the same ratio so let's close that and now the side panel has the same ratio so now I can close this so to get to the layout that 
I want, I had to close all of them. And now we can work on my layout. Okay, so I'm going to hover over that little corner, left click it and drag. And now I have two windows here. And the bottom one, I'm going to make a timeline because I like my timeline to go all the way across. And I need a bunch of other windows if this is going to be functional. And I did that accidentally, so let's join that back. I want to drag it to the left here. So I clicked and drag it to the left, and now I have two windows here. And this one on the right is going to be my main 3D view, which is going to be nice and big here. And on this other side, I'm going to put all the other windows I want. But I need some division in here, so I'm going to set, split the window here. And then I'm going to split it one more time. And then I'm going to split this very top one lengthwise like that. Okay, so now I have all four windows here to use. And the bottom one I'm going to make my graph editor. The second one I'm going to make my dope sheet. Not the dope sheet. There we go. Um, this one I'm going to make... Uh, the properties tab or properties window and this one I'm gonna make the outliner so this works out pretty good I think um, my two largest windows are my dope sheet and my graph editor which are two important things in animating um, the properties window is not something that you necessarily use a lot when you're animating but it's a good thing to have access to and the outliner, uh, you know, you always like to have the outliner available to you so you can choose things more easily in the scene. But this is the layout that I like for animation. So to save this, um, so I have it added in this group. So I'm going to go to default just to make sure that I always start up in this window. And I'm going to hit Control u on the keyboard. That gives me this save startup file. Yes. And now if I start a new scene, which is not going to look any different, but now you'll see I, ha I still have that animation met. Okay, and I also do, um, there's one other layout that I like to change, and that is my UV layout. Now I'll show you the, de the default. Here's the default one, and all I do is I add one side window for the properties because when you're doing UV editing, you it's nice to have access to your materials and your textures. So that's why I add that one in. Uh, but that's a quick look at how to do custom layouts, and uh, have a good one, everyone. Snow water, 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 snow water